Good evening, everybody. It is Tuesday, August 22nd. Uh, it's like quarter of seven, something like that right now um, in the evening. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video because I, I found something cool that's going on in the greenhouse. That kind of excites me. It's a, a neat little tree project I've been doing um, in a rush trying to get the greenhouse watered because things dried up a little more than we thought today. So, uh, But I figured I'd share, do a quick video and show you um, something that's going on with my uh, guava tree. So I'll switch us around here. Take a little walk into the greenhouse real quick. Okay, so right here, uh, is this tree right here. I don't know if you can see it well enough. Goes from that pot there, that one there, goes all the way up, almost, almost to the roof of the greenhouse. She's grown a lot, but uh, yeah, um, I came out and these guys, if I can zoom up on it here quick, have been growing out for about a week and a half or so. We got uh, a couple here, we'll go down here, there's a couple here. These are unopened flower buds on the uh, guava. So I'm going to bring you up to here and check it out. There's an open flower bud there. That's another one unopened. And then coming over here, there's two of them here. It might be a little too early, but I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to try tonight and probably tomorrow when they're fully open. And uh, I'm going to take my handy little makeup brush. No, I don't wear makeup. It's for pollinating the trees that we have. It comes in handy, especially if they're inside. So all I do, I don't know if you can see very good because the light's fading. So... All these here are the stamens, I believe, if my terminology is right. Those are the parts that make the pollen. And if you can see on the tip of my brush, the little white speckles, that's uh, pollen from the flower. And then right in the center, let's see if I can point it right there, the little green kind of thingy sticking out. That's the stamen, I think. There's a pistil and a stamen. I think that that's the female part of the flower. I probably got that messed up, but it's one or the other. So one part, <laughs> you see biology wasn't my uh, my my uh, uh, top subject here, but hey, whatever, it's flower. So you, anyways, you take the white stuff and brush it against the green tip there. That's the pistil and the stamen, and I can't remember. I think the stamen is the female part of the flower, and the pistil is what makes the pollen somebody correct me if i'm wrong see there's not a real lot of oops where's my brush here not a real lot of pollen getting it on it but it might be enough to to fertilize them and i'm going to go over to this flower stock here whoops get my finger out of the way get this leaf out of the way oh there's a little buggy in there he might be doing some pollinating for us already and that one's yeah. oops let me get focused again there's no stamen showing yet on that. So those flowers, a little too um, young and opening to, to pollinate. But uh, yeah, I'll come back out tomorrow, do that again with the brush, give them a little brushy brush, and uh, hopefully we get some pollinating. And I'll show you. Here's one I did uh, right down here, right here. I've got a little guava growing. That one's a couple weeks old now. Whoop. Um, she opened up unexpectedly, and I just kind of gave a little flick back and forth with my fingers, and uh, it pollinated. So this is the Barbie Pink Guava, they call it. It'll have a, a green rind and a beautiful pink inside, and uh, that's the kind of uh, guava that they uh, sell the... Oh, hang on a sec. I got somebody intruding. Hey, get out of there. Oh, no, 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 no. See, this is the problem. Out. Come on. You don't belong. The guilty subject. They love tomatoes and the mulberries. Yeah, aren't you? There's plenty of other stuff for you to get into. Anyways, no, go away. All right, I'm gonna shut the door. All right, bear with me. <laughs> All right, sorry for the intrusion. Now back to the regularly scheduled programming. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, 
Yeah, this is the Barbie pink guava. And it's going to have the green rind with a uh, pink center. Uh, I've never had it personally before. I've tried the white guavas. They're okay. But they say these ones are just amazing. And uh, a good uh, good um, way to taste if you guys have never had guavas before. If you can find the Goya fruit juice. And they have this uh, guava nectar that they sell in the uh, grocery store. It's just amazing. And if uh, the fruit's anything like the taste of that juice, um, this will be pretty cool. But uh, anyways, I thought I'd uh, give a little update because I got pretty excited to see these flowers opening up here. And uh, thought I'd share it with y'all. If you have any in the back here, any questions, comments, concerns, uh, just let me know. I'm going to continue watering before it gets too much darker. Not a big fan watering in the evening because uh, you can risk mold and mildew and such. But uh, we leave too early in the morning for work to do it in the morning. So uh, we'll just... Uh, do it in the evening and we keep the ventilation going on and it's going to get down to like 46 they're saying tonight so fall's just around the corner it's coming so hopefully things uh that are gonna fruit hurry up and uh, fruit and uh, they will be happy with what we get till next time everybody have a great evening and we'll uh see you soon take care all